how did dyslexia affect you in school? Like I know the ways in which it affects me, which have like always been present. So, for example, reading. Um... See, see, for me, I know like I don't have dyslexia, but if I, you know, I'm, I'm always sensitive to light. If I'm reading black text on white paper, I, I you know, they say there's that effect in dyslexia where words can seem to move around. I do. Yeah. Do you seem to get that a little bit? Because it's like all the little light in each of the letters is shifting as your eyes do. How do? Yeah, which is interesting because uh, you've no doubt seen those special fonts that you can get where the shape of a word changes. Um, well, the but it makes fonts. it. I mean, I don't read. think the dyslexia fonts like help me, but some fonts. Yeah, don't do. help me. Um, but also, I, I like the the experience of like words jumping around on the page. Like, um, I don't. <sighs> I don't have that experience, whereas, like, it's more that, um, like, I might have to go back and read read things, um, or I will lose where I am. See, for me, I wonder, like, so, like, I don't get letters jumping around, but I definitely have the light shifting around, which makes it feel as if the letters are moving or shifting, and that can mean that I have to reread. Or well, sometimes I can have to reread because I haven't processed what I've read, even though I've read it. Um, yeah, yeah, no, that, 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 that's more where I'm at. Like, um, like needing to sort of read things a few times to understand it. Do you ever do? You, um, I've heard that some dyslexic people they mix up like the D's and the B's. Yeah, I don't think so. But like writing rather than reading, like I think is the effects are more pronounced. How does it affect your writing? So I'll be writing a sentence and then like I'll miss stuff out. Or like letters. Letters, sometimes words. Wait, I do that. Like I will. Oh, you miss words. Like I'll start. I'll start writing one thing, and then like I'll sort of carry on writing another thing because my brain is thinking about the whole sentence. Yeah. And so I'm thinking, like, my brain's all like thinking about the the next word that's coming, and so I'll start writing the letters for that I, word. You know, I, I remember having that lot when I was a kid. I know as an adult, like I do miss. The entire like I can start writing a word and just miss the middle of the word out or miss the end out. I'll just do squiggly lines instead. Yeah. But um, I know that for me it's more the dysgraphia side. I mean, you have um dyspraxia as well, don't you? And I imagine that you'd probably get. Would you get dysgraphia? Because it's also it's like fine motor skills. I don't know. Um, I'm not sure. Um, you see, I wasn't sure. I just thought like because I guess I, I don't. I, I, I don't feel name. like I understand dysgraphia in the way I understand. Dyslexia. Uh, dyslexia is dyslexia is dysgraphia more... to do with maps or drawing? Um, or... No, it's drawing, yeah. Dysgraphic, as in uh, writing. So for me, it's uh, the fine motor skills, you know, using too much pressure with a pencil. Um, okay, yeah. And that's why I get squiggly lines and words. Um, I use too much force, um, you know. That's why I like pencil, there's extra traction. I find it easier. It's less slippy. If I'm more... Sl like, I tried to fill out a form earlier today, and it was just... It was hard not to squiggle. Okay. I can appreciate the the sort of the tactile aspect of that. So I have a favourite pen. Yeah. Um that I use, um and I've been using now for a few years. You do love your stationery. I do love stationery. Yeah, yeah. I always go past um, one squiggle and think of you. <laughs> like me and uh I can't remember mention names uh, but we were going past uh was it W H Smith and I just the entire time I do it Smith I'm thinking of you. Yeah, I love stationery. Um, and yeah, I have a particular pen I enjoy using, and, but like that doesn't have, like I I guess I'm the opposite. I don't like biros and stuff and the way they feel. Oh, biro, no, I hate biros, they're super slippy, I find. Uh, right, I was thinking of the similarity because it, it's not round is what I'm thinking. It, like, if you I've got the pens that have sight. My biros have the like pointed tips so they've got like, extra traction. Um, sorry, going back to dyslexia. I know dyslexia is not all about um, reading and writing. It also has some other elements to it, doesn't it? Do you know much about them? Like, I would sort of describe the experience, like, of dyspraxia and dyslexia as being a discoordination of body and mind. Um, Sounds so, like, like yeah, I str struggle with, um, like, you know, coordination in my motor skills, um, but also coordination in my thoughts. Um, it's, um, I find it's hard with a lot of these things to pry each apart. Um, they all kind of go together. What kind of things helped you as a child? Um, 
So as a child, as a child, like I'm, like I'm less certain because I didn't have things that were put in place to help in the same way as. Um, so it was as I was going through my GCSEs was when we got to a point where like an educational psychologist was introduced. Um, and I'd like in the point where I got a diagnosis for dyslexia and dyspraxia and from there I was able to get access to um, like additional time in um, exams, use of a laptop rather than writing, like and these things were incredibly helpful um, because yeah it's, easier for me to type like i'm not a touch typist but i can type all right um do you still make a lot of mistakes when typing yeah i make a lot of mistakes but i think it's easier to correct do you like so i know in the past it was auto correct but now i actually recently realized using a different computer how many spelling mistakes I make because this just auto corrects everything and i don't even realize it's doing it yeah and also like when i make a mistake um I will, like, I say often, probably most of the time, I will delete everything I've written since that mistake <laughs> and then write it oh. again, which seems completely illogical. No, I, Why wouldn't you just that. go and I, I've seen other people change do the particular? That. And I, I, you know, I've sat down with people to help me work and I found them doing that frustrating. So I'm there like, you just delete the entire sentence and then they struggle so much to get that sentence out and then they have to start the entire sentence again. Yeah. And then they forget the wording and I'm just there like please please <laughs> i just want to move on um, yeah no it like i mean i can tell you that it's no less frustrating being the person that does that oh yeah um, I, I like can tell it but it's one of those things that almost seems to defy yeah no it's it's <laughs> absolutely illogical and as someone who appreciates logic uh, yeah, oh yeah it's, yeah it's, it's got, frustrating 